Hello everyone and welcome back to another how to tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crop a picture into a circle shape on Canva. The first thing you should do is open your web browser and go to canva.com. Once it's loaded go to the right and click create a design. There's many suggestions but for time I'm going to use custom size. I'm going to add in the width and height. And once that's ready, click Create New Design. Wait till it loads. No thanks. Now that it's loaded on your left, go to Elements and click that. Scroll down and look for Frames. And here it is. But if you can't see it, you can go up to the search box and type in frames to locate it. Scroll down and click see all if you don't see the circle or anything somewhere you want to use. Well, obviously, obviously we're going to use this. Click that. And it's been added. Now, if you click and hold and scroll out, it can enlarge it. Continue to your desired results. This should be fine. And if you have I want to muck about with it a bit more, click position. It's at the middle is available, so click center to center a bit more. And there you go. I'm happy with that. Now adding the photo. You have the option to go to photos and use one of many of Canva's options of photos. There's quite a large number of them. Or, if you want your own custom one, one of your own photos or something like that, click Uploads. And if it's not already uploaded, click Upload Files. And set and locate the file photo on your computer and then click Open. But for this tutorial, I'm going to scroll down and use many other options I've got that I've already uploaded before. And this one should do. Click the photo of your choice. Now as you can see it's been added to the design but not to the circle. So what we're going to do is click it and hover over it to, until it becomes part of the circle and let go. Now double click it and you can move it up or down and use the grid to get a desired result. This is maybe not the best but I'll do, I'll do. Once you're finished, click done. And that's it, that's it ready. So what's left is to output it. Go up to share, click that. Scroll down to downloads. The file type is usually PMG. And there's nothing left to do but click download. And it's now downloading onto your computer. Through the web browser. So this will either be in the downloads folder of your web browser or downloads folder of your PC. Or wherever it's currently located. And if you click it, you can open it. There you go. The, fi the, the file is the, 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 the image dimensions are quite small. You have to bear that in mind. And that's it. Oh, and if you're wondering, if you go up to share again and click that, Scroll down to Downloads, click that, and use Transparent Background. Oh, for, unfortunately, that's a Canva Pro feature. If you click that, click the radio button to highlight it, and then click Download. And yet again, it's downloaded again. And let's, let me show you what I mean. As you can see, one has got a transparent background and one doesn't. Unfortunately, you may have to use other software or pay out for Canva Pro. This was the first ever Canva video I made for this channel. If you'd like to see more, you can leave a like or a comment to show your support for this video. 
If you like the type of content I make, you can also click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to be informed when a new video goes live. That's all I've got to say. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.